Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be doing a website review of Gentleman'sGazette.com. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I ask you to do this so that these videos come right to you. In addition, if you like the video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it right down there below. Okay, so the goal of this video, why am I doing a website video review of a website? Well, I do this because I want to introduce you to a great website. I think one of the internet's best, and there's probably only another one called the Black Tie Guide, which is on the same par with what Raphael has created over at Gentleman's Gazette when it comes to formal and semi-formal information. And I get a lot of questions about this. However, I really don't address it over at Real Men Real Style, so I want to show you a website that does. In addition, I want you to understand, and I want to hopefully expand your mind to think about the importance of history when it comes to menswear. And we'll talk about why that's important. So jumping right to the why, why this matters. First, classic formal clothing is the apex of menswear. This is where it all started. This is the high point. This is where there are actually rules. In the rest of style, there are kind of guidelines, but this is where there really are rules. Okay, much of what we wear today descends from this type of clothing. So in a sense, if you understand the history, you'll be able to kind of see in the future and you'll be able to make better shopping decisions. So when you're out there looking and you see something, if you understand the class, the, the history behind it and how this classic piece of clothing has been around for 50 years, for 75 years, you can rest assured that it's probably going to be around for another 25. There you don't, you're not going to have an issue spending a little bit more money than if something were trendy or a fad. Okay, and if you ever have to go buy or rent this clothing, let's say you find yourself in Germany or England and you've been invited to the Royal Ascot, you will have at least an idea of where to go looking for this information because you don't want to look like a fool and worst case, you don't want to spend a lot of money on something that makes you look like a fool. Okay, so let's go to the website. All right, gentlemen, this is Gentleman's Gazette. This is Raphael's website, and it's at gentlemansgazette.com. And as you can see, he breaks this up into quite, it's very, very well laid out. He's got an entire section for his best articles, quite quite a bit in there, eight pages of this. Then he got, when it comes to, uh, to wardrobes, he talks about specific pieces of clothing in your eye or pieces of clothing. Then he's got actually gentlemen of style. These are interviews with well-dressed gentlemen and men that you can probably learn a lot from, just like Alan Flesser over at the custom, uh, the custom shop. Then we've got uh, his book reviews. He does a lot of uh, goes and looks at some of the books, which I haven't even uh, read quite a few of these. So really some good reviews. And again, this is more formal, higher end wear. But I would have to say that, you know, even if you go to his wardrobe, or where does he talk? He talks about, let me find it. Here it is. Suits for the big gentleman and how to wear them. I can tell you that this applies to any man who wears any type of suit. The information is timeless. It's great. And if you're a larger man, you should actually check it out. You're probably going to learn quite a bit. He also reviews, does product reviews. So he reviews, uh, you know, th types of clothing and other things you'll want to check out. And he also talks about, you know, like I just mentioned, the Royal Ascot. If you ever get invited to this, you know where to go, in a sense, to understand why this matters. Now, here's an interesting thing, and it was brought to my attention, and this is why I'm doing this review right now. Raphael revealed to me that he was going to be releasing a morning dress guide quite, quite a ways back, and he just put it out there. And I can tell you that his morning dress guide, which you can find over at morningdressguide.com, is the best resource for a morning dress on the web, bar none. And he talks about, you know, just the morning coat, the actual morning suit, the elements that make up morning dress. He provides a gallery and he's even started up a little blog. So if you are into semi-formal or formal wear, this is something perhaps maybe you work for a company and you go to a lot of fundraisers. Perhaps you're traveling abroad and you're going to events in which you're called to wear something like this. You're going to find that this guide is going to be an invaluable resource as you put together your morning suit. So, uh, let me go through that really quickly. History of the coat, uh, the morning suit, and here is a picture of Raphael. And Raphael, he's over in the Midwest. He's actually of comes from, he emigrated from Germany, married an American, and 
Again, a very approachable, very friendly guy. If you want to learn more, go to his website, go into the comments. And again, you want to either go to Gentleman's Gazette or if you're into morning dress, you want to go to morningdressguide.com. All right, let me pull up the presentation. Okay, guys. Well, if you have some questions, if you've got some deep thoughts, I would love to see you in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. And I know I've taken a little bit of an extended break this summer, but uh, have a lot coming up for you. So I'm excited. Uh, obviously, uh, you're going to see probably some, you're going to see quite a few reviews. I'm going to be bringing in some books. We're going to be talking about hair coming up here pretty soon. Yes, I know many of you guys have been asking for that. And of course, I'm going to do my usual Q&A. And we, again, guys, we'll be ramping up the videos, look uh, probably to the end of September. But until then, I'll come on and periodically put something up. All right, guys, I will see you in the comments. Have a great day.